Hi, I'm Mike Haddock, and today we're doing a video on Conway Castle in Wales. I take a plane from Newark, New Jersey, and I fly over to Manchester, England, and I take a train to Conway, Wales, and I visit Conway Castle. We're in the parking lot, and that's the entrance to the castle. That's the castle right there. So this is where you get your tickets to go in for the castle. So, I'm gonna go out the door. Walk up into the castle. Basically, we came in this way, right there. And what we're gonna do is walk through the courtyard and go up to this tower. So this is the courtyard. And we're gonna go to that tower way up over there. And we're gonna go up these steps. We're looking at the way they built these steps. Now you can see this is reconcreted, but what they did was this whole piece would be one solid piece and go right into the wall. And this piece right here would go all the way down. And this is still the original ones. They just kind of concrete over it. So we're getting up here to the tower. Then we look down at the castle. That's what that castle looks like. And this is the whole town. have to say when you're walking down here you could hold on this rope the smartest thing I ever seen this is a medieval castle it was built in 1283 to 1287 so that's 200 years before Columbus discovered America it's still here it was abandoned a few times it was before gunpowder and uh, it was built by King Edward and he was a crusader. When he came back from the Crusades, he uh, took over Wales and he built castles along this coast. Here it is from the view. You can see the old medieval arches, but someone got greedy here and a lot of these things are, are ripped out. There's one probably restored. There's a nice arch. Come over here, part of that one's missing. That's the well where they kept their, got their water. I wanna see how these castles are built. All they were was you put the good face stone on the side, just like you build a wall, retaining wall like I was doing it. Put the junk in the middle. And the whole castle was built like that. Love the arches they put in this castle. This is in the sun, but this is pretty intense. This was an old fireplace one time in the castle. See that? Just used stones. There was no fluids about nothing in those days. And it worked. That fluorescence, how it seeps through, and you can see the water dripping off of here. How it seeps through there. It's like stalactites. One thing is you gotta love the arches. Way they did it. This is inside the castle, and this is uh, just one of the round rooms. They got a simulated fireplace, but look at this fireplace, how big it is. You could walk right in it.
I want you to notice that all these uh, these rooms were plastered at one time. They were all plastered right over the top of the stonework. And right here, they plastered the inside of all these walls and still some of it is surviving. The piece went bad, they just plastered again. We're in one of these, uh, where the chapel is. We're gonna take a look outside. I like the way they extended these out for the walkway on top. As you can see, the whole castle was built on solid rock. That at one time was the entrance to the castle. So if you want to learn how to do something in a certain area, you got to go talk to the local guys. So that's what we're going to do now. Hey, I'll bet you mean, man. Yeah. That's 250 feet of I'm actually a stonemason from Pennsylvania, United oh, yeah. States. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what are you doing? You're just getting out all the bad stuff? And what are you going to fill it in with? Lime. 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 Breathable lime. Right. I'm with uh, these Hello. guys from Wales and they're uh, they're taking this all out. Explain yes. that, how you're doing right. that. We're taking the old lime out. Right. And we pointed it with a new lime. And um, yeah, restore it to its original uh, and this condition. Was, so yeah. it'll be stronger and uh, hopefully right. in about a thousand years time it'll still be here. Okay, and so, what, tell me about the lime you use. Uh, uh, it's, I, I don't like lime, it's mixed with uh, two soft sand, one sharp sand, and a bucket of lime to make sure it's gauged. So we mix it up here, dry, then we wet it to suit, and then we spray here with water so it sticks, and then we let it go off, and then we brush it, and then brush it again. And we cut the sides in so it looks Magnifico. Magnifico. How Magnifico. long how long does it take for that to dry? Well, depends on the moisture and the humidity. Yeah. Um, sometimes two weeks the actual finish, sometimes a little bit longer. But we test it, we push it in, okay, see if there's any hollow sounds to see if it's taken on the stone. And if it's right to do we brush it out and then yeah, like I say, a perfect finish every time. That's Europe for a heritage. That's, sand. What, that's what you use, huh? Yeah, sand that's okay. yeah, it's French. Is they've it? they've right. been doing that for hundreds of years and it's the and that's it. and yeah. constant. Yeah. It's caustic, so. And you add sand to it? Hmm? You add sand to it? Yeah, with a, okay. a sharp sand. It's using. Yeah. It's just pure lime, right? So there's a very sharp sand, a yeah. bit of soft to make it a bit more workable. Right. And lime in a two and a half one ratio. Two and a half to one? Yeah. And how long does uh, it take for that to dry? It depends how wet the wall is. Yeah. So ideal condition a couple of days before tending. Really? But in some bit, two weeks. Really, okay. Yeah. All right. And then, uh, so that's what you're pointing the wall up with. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. A lot of it. Thank you. Well, well this is uh, Ricky. This one, in the joint, yep. the trowel. Right. Off a board, so, this joint here is quite deep really. Right. Um, the main short thing part is to work it right in deep so it doesn't fail with the weather. Right. And we're, we're going over it, but it's short finish. What we now do is we allow a set time for that before we could get a child finish like this one here. All right, that's, so that's been up there a couple of days. Yeah, that's a couple of days, that's about 48 hours old. So this, did... this can vary though with weather, temperature. Right. What we do is we cover it with a blanket and we go back and spray it and whatnot. Okay. Just to make sure that it doesn't go off too quick and blow and fail. Okay. But this is the flow of the joint and it won't look, the final thing will not look anything like that. It looks messy you now, but this one is, the final thing will look That's something like that. That's what the final thing will look like. You bring the ugly out and the line. Now um, we're inside the chapel area of Conway Castle and this castle is 700 years old. So you can see the doorway here, but the rest of it is stone. And what they did was they plaster all these walls on the inside. They call it rendering. We call it plastering or parging, but it's an old stone wall and it's, it goes back 700 years and they've been doing it hundreds of hundred years before that. So when you get a wall, you don't have to be putting those bonding agents on it, wire mesh, all that other stuff. 
You just do what they did for hundreds of years. And if a piece falls off, then you just redo it again. It's no big deal. What we would have is we'd do the joints with a, a, line, a hot lime and sand aggregate mix, three to one or two and a half to one. When that had gone off, we would have a sand aggregate lime mix slurry or render if you like. Right. And then we would have the final waterproof top coat of pure hot lime, with just pure hot lime, which was mixed with, um, it was made, it was limestone. Burnt up to it like a 280 degrees kiln, really hot. And then slaked, cooled, and then they would add what, like animal lard to it. And it had a chemical reaction with the lime, which made a, a total waterproof seal while still allowing air and right. So a moisture control, so any moisture that came up from the building would still escape. Right. But rain wouldn't get in. I see. Okay. This is an old, a really old traditional. Um, yeah. Traditional whole thing, whole, whole different thing in Pennsylvania. It's good to see what other guys are yeah, doing. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I watch a lot of um, stone masons on uh, from yeah. your, your metal woods. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so we're going to go into the Northwest Tower. We're on top of the North Tower. That's that wall that goes right along the city, right up into there, and across, right down to the water's edge, and then it comes across this way. Now, if you can see this, here's the castle, and we're in the North Tower, and we're looking down on this whole wall that they built around the whole town. So we're gonna go out there, and we're gonna walk that now. Just to see where the North Tower is, that's the entrance to get your tickets to the castle. That's the North Tower. This is where the wall starts that goes around the whole town. Well, look at these steps. They're just sticking out of the wall. The regular stone shoves it into the wall. And that's it. See the holes in there support themselves. So I'm pointing at the northwest tower where we were looking from the castle to the wall. And now we're going to walk this wall all the way up to that peak that you can see on top there. So we're on the peak and we're looking towards the castle. So we're going to make a little left hand turn here and we're going to walk down towards the bay. So we're at the end of the wall towards the bay and we look back towards town and you can see the remnants of the old wall. It's still there. It goes towards the castle. I'm going to talk about that castle a little bit. It was fortunate for me to get there and see those guys restoring it with lime mortar, the original type of stuff that they used in those days. And in those days when you're building something it was blunt. You go right into a rock you put your cement down or your lime mortar like they did. You put your rock on top, your cement down, your rock on top, your cement down. You just kept going until you got a castle. That was basically the way they did it. Now, new days, we don't use lime mortar over here. We use a mortar or Portland. And now they have all kind of prepackaged stuff and it's uh, fast drying, which is, you know, I could put a window in and 20 minutes later the cement's dry. A uh, different way they did things back in those days and it was a pleasure to see that because like I always preach what works in Florida doesn't work in Pennsylvania and what works in Pennsylvania doesn't work in Alaska and what works in Alaska doesn't work in California and probably what works in California doesn't work in England so it's all different and Masons by nature use their own mixtures 
when I was a kid, it was only Portland and mortar. And you'd add so much mortar as you thought you needed for the job. The rule of thumb was if it laid flat, it was Portland and sand. If it was up and down, it was mortar with Portland at it. When you're restoring something, it's a whole different world. I'm also going to do a video on Carnarvon Castle. And I'm going to do a little demonstration on the stone because they had more cut stone. And I went to London and I visited uh, St. Paul's Cathedral, which is pretty good. Uh, the Tower of London. I do a video on that. But these two books, if you're going to do cathedral work or medieval architecture, these are what you look on. Now these are the books. It's the first book is Modern Practical Masonry. And I was in the Cathedral of St. John's 30 years ago. And they were using this book to continue working on that cathedral. It's got a lot of basic information on it. It shows you how to do the arches, the geometry, the tools, how they do stuff from old days, how they're doing stuff in new days. And look at the arches here. I'm going to stop right here. Look at this arch and how it's designed. And we go to Conway Castle and you look at that arch. So there it is. That's why I want to point this book out. The other one is Practical Masonry. And it's basically the same thing, has a lot of different uh, aspects, different ways of looking at it. I did a video and it's called Limestone Caps, Carving and Planing, Tomasetti Stone Company. I'll leave the description in the description box below. But it'll give you some modern info on the way they cut limestone. Now we're going to stop right here because these are the steps that they put in the castle. And you're looking at them. There they are right there. But they're the steps, and if you ever had to do this kind of work, you'd have a good idea on how they were built. I'm going to leave you with the two names of those books, but I'll show you how I found them on the internet on that video, Limestone Caps and Planing. So if you want to know where I stayed and how I got on the trains and the whole bit, I have another channel, My Caddick. It's called Travel, Music, and Mechanics, and I'll leave the link to that below, to that video where I actually interviewed another mason who was doing, worked on an old 15th century house in Conway. Uh, thanks for watching and watch for my next uh, video on castles.